All right, we're joined by interim head coach Miles Joseph. Miles, thanks for joining us. Why don't you just start us off with how the team's doing this week and your thoughts ahead of this weekend's match against Austin? Yeah, well, woke up to the news of uh, Diego Chara having uh, appendicitis and having to have a appendectomy. Um, so that was a good way to wake up this morning. Um, so it'll be one to three weeks uh, recovery. Um, so just to let everybody know that as we start. Um, moving forward to our game, our match against Austin. Um, obviously a very difficult opponent uh, that we're level with in the table. Um, but our, our team is excited and we're well prepared. We had a great training session today, uh, even with the absence of uh, Diego. Um, so we're just making some uh, adjustments and fine tuning. Um, but they'll be uh, ready to go. Questions. Sam, go ahead and start us off. Hi, Coach. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, sure, Sam. Great. Um, yeah, I just would love to ask a little bit more about uh, Diego Chara's absence. Um, how you're looking in the midfield? Are you looking for maybe, you know, a like for like replacement, formation change? What kind of options are you considering for uh, the center of the pitch? Or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we talked about a lot of a lot of those things. Um, you know, it, it's uh, we have a lot of capable players. Uh, in that midfield, so we're just kind of moving a few pieces around there, um, and I think, you know, for the weekend we'll be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to be good there. I think there's a couple of players like Brian Acosta and, um, you know, obviously Christian Paredes uh, that can fill in that spot. Thanks. And speaking of Austin particularly, what type of game are you kind of expecting on Sunday? You know, Austin, a team that's also kind of fighting for their playoff lives. Um, yeah, what, what type of what type of match are you expecting on Sunday? I mean, they're they're playing at home. They're going to be aggressive. Uh, they're they have a great style of play. They're really well coached. Um, so I, I expect them to be well prepared and um, and, you know, so we're going to have to match that. If not, uh, be able to have our own solutions for what they bring at us because they're a very well coached team. Thanks. And just one last one, mm -hmm. you know, speaking from, from your perspective, you've been, you know, from four games, in the head coaching role, getting to your fifth. Um, have there been any specific kind of differences or, or changes that you've kind of seen in the squad over this past month um, since you kind of took the reins? I mean, you know, I think just a general like guys, you know, guys were coming around getting healthy and that, that positive energy that, that that comes along with that. Um, I think has been a really uh, uh, good way for us to move this group forward. Um, and, and, and I think uh, they're in a really good place for the weekend. Thanks, Coach. Jeremy, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Um, I'm just wondering about Anthony. Um, he's been here for about a month right now, and he's still settling into the team. Uh, mm -hmm. Is he due for a minute increase? At any point this weekend? Yeah, he's a he's. Uh, I mean, obviously, with new players that come in, there's always an adjustment period. Um, he is, I would say, one of those players that I think has adapt is is adapting fairly quickly. So, uh, along with that, um, you should see some uh, minutes being increased for uh, his situation. Um, he's a very talented, a very uh, um, direct player um, that adds a lot in our attack. So. Um, you know, we're, we're as excited as you are, I believe, to have him on the field. All right, and just one more question. Um, it seems like the Timbers are very committed to playing positively, like wanting to keep the ball. Um, but going on the road, that's going to be a tough task. Um, is that still the game plan, to want to try and keep the ball as much as possible? Well, we certainly don't want to sit on top of our box against Austin and let them come at us the whole game. So, uh, yeah, it is part of the strategy and the game plan that we're laying out for the, the to be, you know, to play our game and to be do well with the ball. Because if uh, that happens, if we have the ball, then that's less chances for Austin coming our way. Thanks, Coach. Have a good luck this weekend. You're welcome. Thanks, Jeremy. We will wrap it there. Thanks for your time, Coach, and good luck.